Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing wonderful. In this video, I am going to explain the concept called exceptions in AMDP. We have an idea about exceptions so far because we might try it with uh, some other uh, classes and methods or any functionality we have used, maybe a function module or some other piece of code we might try to catch the exception from the particular piece of code right so if you're calling a standard function module so they might have raised an exception in any of the scenarios so to avoid a runtime error or a short dump we try to catch the exception so very simple same thing we are going to uh, apply in amdp as well so exception is in general uh, it is not able to uh, capture in the compile time level probably after that in the runtime there may be a chances of uh, these kind of scenarios might occur so if it occurs what happens is the the basic product designer in the particular level they raise an exception it's not only the product design we can use we can raise an exception in the custom as well custom design as well okay so to capture that exception we need the exception handler right so in technically we have try catch option so far so we are going to use the same design to capture the exceptions which is happening or which is which has raised in amdp level also okay let's get into the slide first so in general we have a block called try catch block to uh, capture your exceptions so try inside the try block uh, you're going to have the piece of code whichever you want and you might think this particular piece of code may have a rising option of any exceptions so i want to catch that so you need to catch the exception exactly what exception you are expecting or some sometimes we have a generic one so here exception is always in a class format Okay, always start with CX is a exception class and then what needs to be done you may just catch it at least to avoid the uh, the short term error or after the catch if you want to perform anything depends on a business need you can write it over here so this is the uh, the basic idea of try catch block okay so programming code catch the raised exception and what to be done very recently we are using this try catch for uh, the new ABAP syntax whenever we are going to uh, try to have um, the data from the internal table so there is a famous exception as uh, itab line not found right so that is an exception so there may be a chance of your internal table might empty so what happens is internally they return a code if the internal table is empty it just raise an exception so I want to catch a, uh, capture that exception so so far we have used very uh, recently those exceptions internal table is not empty uh, using this block so try catch um, itap no line not found i believe that is a, a exception class name and then uh, we normally catch it we don't write anything over there and then end try so the same thing we are going to apply for amdp also so in amdp what you are going to do is we are going to use amdp method call amdp is nothing but we are going to call a method it's coming under amdp class so class and method uh, the call option is going to be come here after the try and the catch uh, we are going to use any one of the exception class so what happens is specifically we have a amdp exception class so if you want to find uh, a relevant exception class just go with cx underscore amdp underscore star you will find all the relevant amdp exception classes so you can just use whichever you want and then uh, after the catch if you want to do anything just write the code over here also and uh, these are the uh, some exception classes i i just noted from my rental system so these are the exception classes is relevant for amdp so it's it might be increased in the day-to-day -day, uh, activities whenever they find something else so the product company nothing but sap they may add some more exceptions also okay so just go through uh, these ones and whichever you find is relevant you can use it and this is the common one we are using like exception and calling amdb function whatever happens i'm not sure which exception is going to come so i'm going to use the generic one called cx amdp error exception class okay then um 
So how I'm going to read what happens because so whenever the exception is happening, uh, you can see in your status bar exception and then exception class name caught. So only that is coming, but uh, we need some very specific one, right? And uh, uh, if, if there is no catch, it goes to dub. If you capture, that is the one, it, it, it comes in the status bar. So I want very specific one, even especially the AMDP has a, it's a large unit. So we need to understand what actually happened. So for that, what is the next step is, create an object for this class anyway it's a class and this class has a method which explains what happened uh, in the exception level so for that i'm going to create one uh, object for this class it's on on the flow declaration so once we create uh, the object for the class you have some methods which is coming under this class using that method we are trying to understand what happened in the exception okay so that is the idea so for that we have created one um, type of reference variable or an object then inside the class you have some methods a so get text get long text position constructor okay so very simple only four methods are there and uh, i'm going to prefer this get long text this method returns uh, most of the lines uh, of the exception what happened okay so the ally this is the interface so normally we have a ally so allies name is get long text so i'm going to use the allies name to get the details of the exceptions so for that i'm i'm going to write the piece of code in the catch and entry so what after happening the exception i'm going to write it over here so using the same object reference variable uh, get long text receiving result it text okay so this is is not an actually an internal table it it's it's going to be uh, stored as a string in that so i'm going to uh, convert this as a tabular in the debugging level because once you receive whatever you want just do it so in this example i'm going to show you how we can just convert that into a notepad at least to understand in the debugging level what happened okay so let's see that one and uh, yeah that's it so this is a way which we are going to get uh, get to know what happened in the exception level okay let's get into the system so this is my rental system so here i have created one amdp uh, class and method because these are many times we have done so i don't want to waste your time so i just walk through what i have um, coded here so I created one class that's coming under my package and the class uh, along with make sure this class is AMDP class. So I use the interface if AMDP marker HDB and a database and then uh, I need a method. So I have one method which has two import parameters. So here the idea is I'm going to use a select option. So I'm going to generate exceptions. Okay. One of the exception is I'm sending a wrong field name from a program for a select options to, uh, to the AMDP method. Then what happens that will generate an exception. Okay. For example, here I'm using a sales concept. So VBAK table in VK, VBAK table, I need to send only the fields which are listed in the VBAK table. For example, WebLN, VB type, uh, whatever listed in that particular table. Uh, but intentionally, I'm just changing the field name of that particular table uh, as a select option and send back to uh, AMDP method. Then uh, what happened? There is an exception they already written. If the field names are not matched with the relevant table, raise an exception. So I'm going to capture that. Okay. So for that, the idea is I'm going to receive a var condition as a string from the program and there is a return parameter it just sent back all the data back to the program okay so that is the idea of this amdp and uh, uh, i'm just using this rising concept over here so whenever there is an option whenever there is an error just rise this exception c uh, cx amdp error okay in common but it rise the relevant exception as well so this is the definition of the class then implementation is quite simple so you need to implement with the basic uh, line in the method so by database procedure for HTTP language, SQL script using the table name VBAK. And simply I'm selecting the information from VBAK and applying the filter, uh, which is coming from the program uh, for the particular uh, 
technically we can call it as internal table and the var condition okay so if this var condition the string has any field which is not available in the particular internal table means in this internal table automatically it's raising an exception okay if not it will send the um, data back to the uh, um, program using a export parameter okay let's see how it behaves and uh, if you see the program yeah this is my program so very simple i have a select option for vb type okay i have a select option for that and uh, i created a reference for the amdp class whichever have you have seen because i need to call the method and i converted my select option as a string in in particular uh, variable called var over here so this is which, which we already have seen uh, we have to enter the exactly the field name which is relevant for the table or i can say internal table because suppose you you use the allies make sure you have used the allies name here okay suppose in your internal table uh, this is not part of this topic let's uh, one additional point suppose here i used uh, so here i used some allies name so select uh, webln as uh, sales order number then in the var condition you have to give that sales order number not webln because the apply filter is to the uh, internal table level not to the database table level so make sure the source which source you are applying the var condition the field name should be available in that particular source okay so here uh, both the source uh, table or internal table has the same field name so no issues okay so we be type and i'm passing the um, select option option sorry select option over here select option variable over here okay and then I'm calling the particular uh, AMDP method get data by passing the select option converted as a string in a variable called where and I'm returning the information. So here I'm using the catch or try catch the catch exception into an uh, object to the type reference variable. Okay. So before getting to that, okay, one more thing I'll show you. So get long text. So under the catch um, by using this object, I'm going to get what happened in the next exception with the help of a message call if message get text either you can use this or it has a allies name you can use this also get long text so both works okay and that is going to be captured in this particular variable so before executing this let me get into the class cx uh, amdp error so i have a get long text and if you go to the get long text the parameter is result is a string so it gives all the information as a string variable so go back let's have a um, okay i have a breakpoint here i'm going to execute this the first time it will give uh, the data back because i'm giving a proper name which is available in vbak table and execute it see execute so that now the text is uh, empty because it, it, it is not uh, raised any exception. And if you see final, you have some values. Okay. So it's very simple. Just uh, values from VBA key. So now what I'm going to do is let me have a breakpoint in the catch. Before that, I want to change the name as one. So this is not available. In the particular source vbak or whatever the internal table name and i'm going to have a breakpoint here execute c execute so now i'm going to execute by f6 so i'm trying to uh, execute through f6 only i don't want to get into the method so it's it's mentioned cx amdp execution failed was caught so this is a very generic one but here it's mentioned which exception is it's raised okay then if you see uh, now just double click currently it's initial because the catch is not executed and f6 so it has some values so you, you can go through this whatever ids or here and everything they mention little clearly but not uh, what we are actually looking for okay so they mentioned what is the AMDP and what is the get data and everything. So here there's an XUL message. This message has everything, but it's very lengthy one to see that one. Okay. So for that, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this method LV text currently is empty execute so it's it has some uh, relevant information so an error occurred when database procedure and everything so what I can do is the string variable so change to tabular at least you can see what happened one more option is go to the tools level save to a local file text to display continue um, okay desktop mdp exception dot txt save hello okay so now go to desktop so here it is double click word drop so this is what it expected so they mentioned very clearly what happens and everything mostly at the end you just come to know what actually happened okay so uh, here they mention invalid column name so invalid column name at the last they mentioned very clearly what is that so vbt typ1 so this is invalid column name which is coming uh, from the program to the amdp and amdp is not able to trigger this because this uh, field is not available in the source of your uh, source where you want to apply the var condition okay so this is uh, it's, it's easy while while you start applying the exceptions for every amdp is very simple to understand what happened so this is a way you just come to know at least what happened inside the amdp because without exceptions very uh, Mm, it's a simple AMDP. If you have a complex AMDP, it's very rare to identify what happens. Mostly, exception we try to happen in try to capture in the development and uh, quality environment itself. So mostly and very rare scenarios, which might occur in production as well. Okay, so this is a way you are able to identify or capture the exception what happened in the AMDP, and you can take a call what needs to be done. Okay, so hope this video might be useful for you. Just play around with this and if you have any doubt, please let me know. Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.